time I go and bring Mega Eagle. Okay, um, uh, another little video on welding with fire extinguishers, yeah? And, and those of you that have been paying attention for a very long time, and I mean the last, uh, like probably two years ago that I, I did an emergency welding with fire extinguishers. It might have been more than that, you know? But hey ho, doesn't matter. Um, where am I going with this? <laughs> oh, yeah. I, I, I showed, um, I showed a, I run out of gas and I got a fire extinguisher and rigged it up to the welder and um, you know carried on carried on welding using the CO2 as a shielding gas for the welder yeah um, now since then I've actually actually given up on using using the uh, the pub gas bottles CO2 again because uh, I'm tight uh, <laughs> and um, and I've started buying refurbished CO2 fire extinguishers, yeah, because I can get these now um, for 40 quid a piece delivered to my door, which is which is pretty good. Um, pretty good. It's uh, it makes them cheaper than the, the pub gas bottles because the pub gas bottles, uh, I think it's I think it's the same sort of money for a refill, and there should theoretically be more in here. But I'm definitely getting skanked because I'm managing to get a lot more welding done out of a fire extinguisher than I am out of these guys and seeing as though these people were the cheapest and closest to me I'm not going to bother looking for another gas supply I'm just going to use the fire extinguishers from now on yeah <laughs> right. um, and what uh, yeah so when I when I made the video last time I uh, hooked it up I put it on the back of the MIG welder and I said it's very important to put the fire extinguisher upside down yeah and you'll see right here I haven't had it upside down and that's been causing me a lot of problems yeah so what's what's been happening is because it's been stood the right way up a fire extinguisher unlike the unlike the welding bottle yeah a fire extinguisher has a tube that uh, the pickup pipe that goes down to the bottom of the bottle so it picks up liquid co2 when you're trying to put a fire out yeah which is what you want you want to squirt liquid co2 on there and then it um it um it boils off on the fire which pulls all the heat out of the fire. That's the main way a CO2 extinguisher kills a fire, isn't it? By putting the heat out, um, the CO2 smothers it as well. But uh, the main thing is, is is the fact it pulls all the heat out. You know, that's why they're, that's why they're good. Um, uh, so the problem problem with having it upright um, is, is you get that liquid CO2 in the regulator. Um, and uh, it hasn't, hasn't been a problem throughout the whole bottle. Uh, yeah, I've, I've got through a few of these stood up right like this. Bloody trains always at the wrong time. But they have a way for him to go by. Train's gone. So the problem with having it stood up right is uh, it'll do a long weld and um, come off the trigger, and the, the, there will be liquid CO2 in the regulator. Yeah, and then and then if you just leave the welder stood like that. Uh, that will start boiling off and the pressure in the regulator itself will start going up and up and up and up and up and then eventually the um, the uh, over pressure pressure relief valve in the um, regulator will pop and uh, and you'll lose a load of CO2 yeah? but even, even with that happening I'm still getting much better mileage out of these CO2 extinguishers than the uh, pub gas bottles I'm pretty sure I was getting ripped off um, yeah. Which aggravates me tremendously. You know, if, uh, if anyone knows knows me, like being being a uh, being skanked on something is one of my uh, uh, least favourite pastimes. Yeah, but whatever. Um, so uh, to get the best out of my next extinguisher, uh, I'm going to try and mount it on the wall here. Yeah, and so when I when I clamp it open. I don't. Uh, I want to do everything I can to minimise the possibility of walking away from these and leaving them on. Yeah, because uh, there's obviously a, a bigger danger of things leaking past the valve with a with a simple push valve than the sort of valve you have on the um, other gas bottles that are um, quite often meant to be left open. Yeah. So either way. So what I want to do in this video is rig up a, a new bottle there uh, upside down the right way up for welding with um, and uh, you know bolt it to the wall and then run the hose down into the welder it's a nice long nice long gas hose in that welder so even if I want to pull the welder out I can um, it's going to be a bit of a pain in the ass if I want to take the welder out of the shed but 
um, I'm willing to take that hit on the chin. All right, <laughs> so let's get into it. There we go, what a masterpiece, eh? Uh, all plumbed up and that now. We just uh, use the, oh, have a bit of a leak. First time I switched it on, I'll just fix that leak. Okay, gas is on now. <laughs> all set up uh, yeah um, I, I thought I'd do a little video on it I know one of you had um, one of you had asked about my fire extinguisher setup and um, you know if I don't make a little video on it you're gonna wonder why I've got a fire extinguisher strapped to the wall but that's it <laughs> there we go we've got the welder running Boop. and the fire extinguisher up there and now whenever I leave the shed I can just um, flick that off see if that's done up or undone and walk away from it, eh? <laughs> lovely jubbly. I'll see you all later. Bye-bye.